Hello, this is Dan Love from the North American SAP Business One Solution Expert Team. This is another video in a series of videos on the Business One mobile service app. In this video, I want to highlight the configuration steps that are required to make the Business One mobile service app work with SAP Business One. Here in this video, we'll talk about steps to configure SAP Business One in three areas. The first is within the SAP Business One client. Second, within the Systems Landscape Directory, also known as SLD. And lastly, within the SAP Win Business One Linux server. If we start with the Business One client configuration, there's a couple of things we need to do to make sure Business One is configured for the new mobile service app. This is assuming that you've got release 9.3 at least patch level 4 or higher installed. In the document settings there's a new option at the very bottom called enable multiple scheduling for service calls. If you would like the ability to assign multiple technicians to a B1 service call for the mobile app you need to check that box. Just remember once you check that box that option is irreversible. The other thing you need to do in order to make a technician or assign a technician to a scheduling record in a service call is in the employee master data record. I'm going to do a find for Tom Silva and find my employee master record for Tom Silva who is a service technician. On the membership tab there is a table here called roles and I need to make sure Tom or anyone I want to assign to a scheduling record for the new B1 mobile service app is a technician. In this case I've assigned Tom Silva and we're good. Another thing we need to do is in general settings and this is something that's been around for a long time and in that path tab you define a couple of different directories. The ones we're focusing on is the pictures folder and the attachment folder. In this case I've assigned them to a Windows server and a folder within that Windows server called SBO Demo CA. Now the other thing I need to make sure is that the users that are going to save things to the pictures in the attachment folder have the right authority to save and view files within that Windows directory. So I'm going to go over to that Windows directory. Here's that SBO demo CA within that Windows machine. And I want to make sure that they have the authorization. I'm going to go to the Advanced Securities tab, and here I can set up security by individual user, by Windows group, and in my case, kind of oversimplified, I have allowed everyone full control to this directory. Probably not something you want to do outside a demo environment, but in my case, for demos it works. Those are the three things that you need to do in the Business One client and within the Windows client. Now the second configuration step is with the System Landscape Directory, or also called the SLD. I'm going to log on to the SLD, and what's important about the SLD as it relates to the new service app is really the services that are running within this HANA server. There are three or four services that you need to make sure are installed and running in order to make the new mobile service app work. Those are the service layer, make sure that's running. You need to make sure that the analytics platform is running. The other thing you need to make sure that is running is the mobile service. This allows the communication with uh, the mobile devices. And in my case, I'm going to sign in just to make sure that I'm configured and it's running. Click log on just to confirm that the mobile service is up and running. From the SLD perspective, I have all of the components that I need running. Now, the last thing I need to do because of my environment where I've installed in a cloud environment where I've got things exposed to the internet and things exposed internally is to make sure from an external mapping perspective of URLs that my external addresses for both the mobile service and my analytics platform are mapped from my external address to my internal address. That's the last piece that needs to be done within the system landscape directory or the SLD. So the final configuration needs to take place within the SAP Business One Linux server. And there are a couple of things that need to be done there. One of them is to create a new directory within Linux for these attachments so that we can then translate that directory and associate it with the Windows directory where the actual files will be stored. So I'm going to go here and, and pull up a file editor. 
and I'm going to go to a directory called mount and this is where I've defined all my mount points. Within that I've created a subdirectory called attachments and within that I've created a subdirectory called SBO demo CA. Later on we're going to use this mount attachments SBO demo CA Linux directory in our FS tab command so that we can translate from the Linux directory to the Windows directory and make sure those devices are mounted and available to the service mobile app. The next piece we need to do is go look at uh, the way we make those mount commands happen. And there's a directory called etsy or etc and in that directory there is a file called fs tabs. Excuse me, fs tab. I'm going to open that file and this file is a text file that is used with the mount command and by Linux to mount devices and associate devices and make sure people have the right security to those different uh, directories. In this case at the bottom here I've got a command line here that will be loaded when I issue the mount command that is mapping my Windows directory here to my Linux directory here so I'm taking that IP address slash demo CA and associating it with my mount attachment SBO demo CA and then the rest is a series of commands that tells Linux how to use that this line in this case giving it a username of administrator a password which I blanked out a domain name which is my Windows domain name and then the fact that I want to use a file mode of 0777 and a directory mode of 0777 which basically gives all access to that mount and that mapping. This FS tabs command is used when the Linux server starts up or I issue a mount dash a command. So this is the final piece in the configuration puzzle that needs to be done with on the SAP Business One Linux server. And with that, those are the three areas of configuration that need to be implemented to make the new B1 mobile service app work with SAP Business One on HANA.